All right, let's start. We're gonna have some, got some fire roasted diced tomatoes. Pour them in our little food processor here. We just use a small, quick one for our family. I'm gonna go ahead and hit it a couple of times ahead of time. And we're gonna add in some onion now. What you prefer for onion depends on how strong you want the taste to be. I'll take about a quarter of an onion and quarter it up. That's about all I want. And the reason I process the tomatoes a little bit first is because sometimes when you get it the consistency you want, the tomatoes will be pulverized and you don't even see it or feel it or taste it like the texture in the salsa. I mean, you'll taste the onion taste, but that may be all you taste but you won't see it. All right, for the jalapenos, take about what you can stand. I put somewhere between four to six in there, depending on how big they are. I put a little juice in there. Yep, just some old store-bought deli sliced hot jalapeno peppers. And then, most people don't have time for fresh cilantro, or once they have it, they don't know how to use it all up, especially as a single person or even in a family, a bunch of cilantro is pretty big. Let's do a couple of little spurts in here. But let me show you something else. If you want to do fresh cilantro, <clears throat> you can process it down with a little bit of water or maybe just a little bit of oil and put it in an egg carton or an ice cube tray if you have and make little frozen puckets or pucks like this. And then you'll be able to use them, defrost them, or blend them in with your sauce and, and that's that's the fresh alternative if you can't keep a whole bundle fresh use what you can that day process it down freeze them up little cubes put them in a ziploc bag all right that's basically all the ingredients we need for this sauce now you can add salt and pepper if you like a lot of times i like to taste it first because who knows what the tomatoes tasted like coming out of the can or if they add a little salt uh or how the pickling is on the jalapenos in the jar. So basically, I'm just going to get in here and look at it. See, we just did a couple of little turns right there. If we had went any further, those onions would probably disappeared. That's pretty good, and it has a salty taste, I mean, without having to be salted. So let's pour this off in our dish. And of course, if you can do this ahead of time and let it chill for a little while in the refrigerator, those jalapenos and those other flavors will start kicking in. All right, now let's get us a chip. Okay, Dad's done. This is looking good. Time to taste test. There you go. Oh, that's good. Not too hot for you? Mm-hmm. Not too hot. Let me dip in there and be funny. Mmm. Yeah. I think that's going to work.